Today we're having a look at this little interesting device here. This is the Genie 3000, an AI lawnmower. If you're looking for a robotic tool that will cut your grass and keep it in pretty good shape, this might be something for you. So here's what the Genie 3000 looks like in the box. On the top part, you will have the post, which will house the RTK GPS dish. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. And right under that, we have a piece of cardboard separating the actual lawnmower. So the packaging overall is very nice. Everything felt very secure and the lawnmower itself comes encased in its own little plastic. Now here we're gonna have the power adapter and the GPS dish. We're gonna assemble that in just a moment, but overall the unboxing was very simple. The Genie 3000 itself definitely needs two hands to get lifted out of the box, and it's actually a pretty good size. And here is the docking station, which is basically a thin layer of plastic, and the installation of this is actually very, very easy overall. Here is the metal tubing for the GPS dish. It does connect two halves together, and this is the GPS dish. So this is going to be mounted on that pole. And here we have some metal spikes and plastic spikes, which will go underneath that pole and into the docking station itself if needed. So I started off by connecting the power adapter into a wall outlet and then feeding it directly to the dock. I placed the dock in a flat area, just connected the power cable to it, and I made sure that it was not under any tree covering. I'll explain why in just a moment. Next, I took the GPS RTK module post and I put it together along with the spikes that go at the bottom, and this will go directly into the soil. Anthbot also has an optional wall mounting kit for the Genie 3000. This is specifically for the RTK station. Comes with all the mounting hardware and the power cables. Now the longest part about this installation was finding the proper place to put the RTK station because it can't have any coverings over it such as trees or balconies. So this was a little bit of a trial and error process for where to stick the RTK station. I tried about three different locations in my backyard, but in the app, it helps guide you on the proper place and where you should put this RTK station. So again, it only added about 10 minutes to my setup time, but still not a big deal. So here I'm just putting the mounting post directly into the soil. Now I'm gonna take the RTK dish, screw it onto the top of the pole, make sure it's good and tight, and then I'm gonna connect the power cable to the dish. And now I'm going to connect the dock to this dish. Basically, the docking station only has two connections, one going to power and one going to the RTK dish. Now I'm placing the Genie 3000 into the dock and let it get some good charging in. We need to make sure that the RTK signal is solid green right here. You can see it's blinking. And now we're gonna to go to the cockpit of the lawnmower. We're gonna press down the power button. It's gonna boot up. It's gonna ask you for a security pin to start up the lawnmower. The four digit pin to initialize the lawnmower is a zero, zero, zero. You're gonna use the mode button and the home button to input those numbers. Here's a look at the Anthbot app. It's very simple. We're gonna start off by creating a map of the lawn. Otherwise, the mower will not know the boundaries. So we're gonna start off by creating a new map. And prior to this, you wanna make sure that your GPS signal is good on both the RTK dish and on the mower itself. All the instructions are right there. It's gonna do a little self-check before and prior we start to this, going. When you so right now, your lawn mower, you will connect it to your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signal on your phone. The app is asking us to create a boundary of our lawn. So we're gonna use the two onboard joysticks to help guide the mower around the lawn. On the top right corner, you can also enable the auto mapping feature, but for the sake of this lawn, I decided to do it manually. So when setting the boundary, again, I'm using the onboard digital joysticks and I'm just following the AI lawnmower and just creating a very accurate boundary. Now you can see the lawn has some curves. I do overlap them just to make sure that the mower cuts the grass just on those curves so that way it doesn't miss any spots. So keep that in mind when creating your lawn's boundaries. And once you're done and once you get back to the docking station, the robot will automatically detect it and it will start docking and recharging and it will be ready to cut your grass. 
So here's a closer look at the Genie 3000. In the front, we have two cameras which help out with obstacle avoidance, and there's also an LED light for low light situations. And we have two cameras, one on each side of the mower for obstacle avoidance. And here's a look at the mower upside down. It's powered by two guiding wheels up in the front and two powerful drive wheels in the back with studs. So it can travel through thick mud and dirt and it can go up pretty steep inclines. Now, simple enough, this mower just uses five sharp blades attached to a spinning disc, which moves up and down. And that's how it cuts your grass. It's that simple. So the Anthbot app gives us several options when mowing. You can set zones and spots of your lawn where you want it to mow. That way it doesn't always have to mow the entire lawn. You can also set do not enter zones and you can set the amount of times you want it to mow just to ensure that you cut all of your grass. You can even set the cutting height. If you go to more settings on the upper right hand corner, you can adjust things such as a schedule, which will turn on the lawn mower to mow your lawn automatically so you never have to manually start it. Other features include anti-theft protection. So if the lawn mower is picked up and moved outside a specific boundary, it will sound an alarm. And really cool, we have an option to turn on and off the rain sensor. So if the lawnmower detected rain, it will not mow your lawn that day. And this thing does a really nice job, especially in rougher terrain. Like this lawn is crooked, it's got holes in it, it's got rocks in the way, and it has state-of-the-art obstacle avoidance, and it avoids places where it thinks it's gonna get stuck, or if it's just gonna simply hit something. So this lawn we opted to keep relatively short. So this thing is going to be mowing once every week, but twice every single time. So that way we ensure that it mows all of the grass and keeps everything nice and freshly cut. A huge perk about the Genie 3000 is how quiet it is. Compared to traditional gas powered mowers, it's just a night and day difference. I don't have to wake up early to the sound of gas engines or the smell of gas itself. Electric is the way to go. So if you're trying to make your life a little bit easier, you don't want to spend as much money on hiring professional landscapers, then consider getting yourself one of these Genie 3000s. It's a great little AI machine that helps keep your lawn in pretty good shape. So if you're interested, check out the link down below. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.